This is home away from home for hundreds of American seminarians. It's the North American College, just a short distance from the Vatican. Every room in the house is full, 250 seminarians, uh, 250 students in the house at this time. There are seminarians from 100 dioceses in the U.S. Some of them followed their vocation early on in life, but others held regular jobs before becoming seminarians and coming to Rome. And some were doctors, some were architects, uh, some ran, um, worked in the entertainment industry. Monsignor Cecchio was the college rector. Before, he was also a student here, and over the years, the college has welcomed big names in the church, like former rector's Cardinal Edwin O'Brien, who was the Grand Master of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre, and also Cardinal Timothy Dolan, who now serves as the Archbishop of New York and has led the fight against President Obama's controversial health care mandate, which required church institutions to provide birth control to its employees. Health care for everyone is a goal of the church, too and uh, has been for a long time before it's been a, a concern of our government. The college was founded back in 1859 under blessed Pope Pius IX, who gave the property to American bishops so they could prepare American seminarians right in the heart of Catholicism, with close proximity to the Pope, saints, and martyrs. The goal is to broaden their understanding of the church so they can then transmit that message back in the U.S. To respond to a call in this day and age is not easy, and it kind of makes the men more driven in response, to, uh, in response to the needs of the people. From the college to a graduate house and even a continuing education institute for priests, the goal is always the same, to strengthen the formation of priests and seminarians who in turn can help strengthen the faith in the United States.